Welcome Beacons. I am so excited to share with you today information on the UMass Boston Virtual Career Expo, which will be held on March 3rd from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Handshake. Who should attend the Career Expo? First year students, sophomores, transfer students, juniors, seniors, and graduate students. The Career Expo has opportunities for all students from all majors and everyone is highly encouraged to attend. You never know who will lead you to your next career opportunity. Employers will be coming with internships, full-time jobs, part-time jobs, volunteer opportunities, and co-ops. So today we're going to quickly discuss how to register for the Virtual Career Expo and sign up for individual and group sessions. We'll also explore tips on how to navigate the over 100 employers who are looking to connect with you at the Career Expo. And we'll talk about how to be successful during this whole process and how to professionally share with a recruiter if you're unable to use your video during the event. We'll conclude with hearing from current students highlighting how to best answer common questions from recruiters and gain a sneak peek into what it looks like to virtually attend the Career Expo. To register for UMass Boston's Virtual Career Expo, I'm going to visit the Handshake website. The URL is umb.joinhandshake.com forward slash login. I'm going to use my UMass Boston email address to log into this website. And on the homepage of Handshake, I'm going to select the events tab. From this point, the easiest way to find the Career Expo is to select the Career Fair option. And there it is, UMass Boston's Virtual Career Expo 2021. My first step is to register for the event. Once I click this button, it will give me these available options, available sessions, your schedule, and career fair details. Under career fair details, you can view the over 100 employers who are coming virtually to UMass Boston to speak with students about opportunities. To sort through all of these employers, you may choose to use the filters option. There's a variety of filters that you can explore. If you're an international student, you may want to see who accepts OPT and CPT. There may be a specific industry you're interested in or job type. You can select job, internship, volunteer, fellowship, and there's other filters as well. You can also search by your major. I would highly recommend exploring all employers because you never know who will lead you to an opportunity. If there's a specific employer you're interested in, you can search for this employer and read more about what they're looking to recruit for. If I want to now register for a session with this employer, I'm going to go to available sessions. So after I went to the career fair details and I made my list of the employers who are coming and those who I want to connect with, I'll come here to sign up for my sessions. What's great is I can see the recruiter that I'm going to meet with so I can even look her up on LinkedIn beforehand. And now I'll secure my time. I simply pick the time that works best with my schedule and this is a one-on-one -on -one session and I select confirm and then I'm registered. And now I can go back and look for more opportunities. Perhaps I also want a group session. So I will go here and sign up for a group session as well. I can see here they're looking for volunteers, fellowships, internships, jobs. There's all different types of opportunities that this organization has available. So I can confirm and I'm registered. On the day of the Career Expo, you will log back into Handshake. You'll go back to the events tab. And this time, because you have already registered for the Career Expo, it comes up right under your schedule. Once you go into the Career Expo section, you can view your schedule and join in on the sessions that you have registered for. If you still have open slots, you're encouraged to see what sessions are still available and join in and meet other employers at the event. Let's now take a look and see what it looks like when you join your session. When you click join video to join your session, you will have an opportunity to turn your microphone on and your camera. 
you'll have as much time as you need to preview and make sure everything is perfect before you log on. When you click join now, you will be joining the recruiter for the session that you signed up for. If you encounter technical difficulties or unable to use your camera, we still highly recommend connecting with the recruiter. The recruiter wants to meet with you no matter what your situation may be with your camera and Kathleen Meyer from Sun Life gave some advice recently on how to handle the situation. I'll add just um, one more thing, you know, if, if you are in a one-on-one -on -one and for some reason you're not able to have your camera on for whatever reason that might be, that's okay. Just say, I actually, I have to keep my camera off if you don't mind and let the recruiter know that where they're not waiting for you to turn it on and we're kind of acknowledging it and then you can move on. Um, but we're, we're all human. We're all in a number of different, you know, uh, places where we're working, you know, where we're trying to be quiet. So, you know, we understand and recruiters are going through a lot of the same thing. So I think just kind of being open about, um, you know, if you can't have your camera on, if there's a little noise in the background, you can always just say, I'm, I apologize for that noise, you know, and just, just move on. Don't let it get distracting. Let's listen in and see how this student explains his situation about his camera as he asks a question about an internship to the recruiter. I am a history major. Uh, in the College of Liberal Arts, I'm coming up on my junior year, and I've heard that internships are really important. And so I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about the internship that you have available. Oh, and by the way, I just wanted to let you know, I'm sorry that my screen isn't on, but I was having technical difficulties. I hope that's okay. The recruiter completely understands and goes on to have a wonderful conversation about internships with the student. Before we conclude today, let's hear some tips from UMass Boston students about how to handle common questions from recruiters at the Virtual Career Expo. Let's take a glimpse into how they answer these questions. Hi, my name is Jen. I am a recruiter for my company and I'm so excited to meet you today at the Career Expo. I was hoping if we could start off, if you could tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi, Jen. Um, my name is Anushka, and I'm a junior majoring in communication, and I'm very excited about the public relations internship at your company. I feel that it would be a perfect match for my writing, teamwork, and organizational skills. In the past, I've worked with CVS, and so I understand the importance of upholding an organization's image and the value in the relationship uh, between customers and organization. In addition to my work experience, I had to use Excel a lot. So using Excel a lot in my part-time job on campus, it was very beneficial in analyzing client data. And so I believe this is a wonderful opportunity and, and I'm so thankful that I got to speak with you today. If you receive this question, this is a great opportunity to highlight you as it relates to the organization you're speaking with at the Virtual Career Expo. You can include your major and class year, as well as a brief overview of your career interests, experiences, and skills as it relates to the employer and the type of opportunities you are interested in. Let's listen in on another common question you may be asked at the Career Expo. It's nice to meet you. My name is Jen, and I'm representing my organization today. Hey, thanks for having me, Jen. I'm really excited to answer some questions and be able to ask you some questions as well. That sounds wonderful. Well, I was hoping we could start off if you could tell me a little bit about your career interests. Yeah, my career interests. So currently, I'm a senior at UMass Boston, concentrating in marketing, and I kind of want to continue that road. Uh, I've had a pre in my previous uh, internships I've had. I had a sports marketing internship, which I really enjoyed. And we like to continue doing that. I uh, learned a lot about market research and kind of built my communication skills that I think that will help me succeed in that area. Uh, and I'd like to end up working for one of the four major uh, Boston sports teams, preferably the Patriots, and be like the head of marketing. That would be my dream job. And yeah, that's what I want to do. If you're asked about your career interests at the Career Expo, this is a great opportunity to highlight how your interests and academics connect back to your career aspirations. You can share any related experience, including internships, volunteering, research, academic papers, or special projects. This is a great opportunity to highlight your related skills as well and discuss your career goals as it relates to your interests and the employer. Let's listen in on one last common question that you may get at the Career Expo. What do you know about our company? 
I read the description about your company on Handshake, and then I visited your website to learn more about it. I noticed that your client base has grown tremendously over the past year, and that's very impressive given the pandemic we've been in. I also noticed that you're expanding your market internationally next year, which is really exciting. Lastly, I noticed that a key value of your company is giving back to the community. That really resonates with me as I've been doing community service ever since I was in high school. As you prepare for the Career Expo, it's important to research the organizations you're going to connect with at this event. By visiting their website, you can find out information on the organization's mission statement, their values, their vision statement, as well as their accomplishments, and even any community involvement. You can see what you can connect to the most out of everything you learn about them and share this back with the employer. Overall, think what makes you excited about this employer and let them know. As you prepare for the Virtual Career Expo, remember that the Office of Career Services and Internships is here to help. On the day of the Career Expo, one hour before the event start time, we will be available on Zoom to answer any last minute questions. Then, during the event from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., we will be inside Handshake as one of the group sessions that you can join if you have any questions. Simply search for the word help under the available sessions section to find us. The Office of Career Services and Internships wishes you the very best at the Career Expo. We look forward to working with you now and in the future.